Hello and welcome to part 5 of the Mega Man X Rookie Hunter's Guide. This episode covers Spark Mandrel Stage, the power plant, the right of the word spec. Because we defeated Storm Eagle at the airport, the power will occasionally flicker, leaving dark areas. Fire Wave is particularly useful here and takes out the gun bolts very quickly. Climb up the ladders to progress with the stage. The fast-moving flies called Hotarions can easily kill you if you make contact with them over a bottomless pit. Take this part slow and wait for the lights to turn back on if you need to. Wall kicks are useful to save yourself while Fire Wave kills the flamingos quickly. Equip Storm Tornado and charge it before entering the next room because you'll need it against the mid-boss, Thunder Slammer. Watch the pool of water it can trap you in and when you're either next to it or under it, release the tornado to inflict a ton of damage. Usually you'll kill it in two or three hits. Use more storm tornado to take out the bore looking rust rotors and the surface dwelling turn cannons up ahead. The huge mega tortoises look scary, but die to a single storm tornado. Above you is the third heart tank, and there's multiple ways of getting this. I find the easiest way is to do a somewhat precise dash jump off the wall to grab the ledge. It may take you a few tries, but there's no penalty for failure. There is an alternative way, but it requires a weapon you don't have yet, and I personally find it to be much harder. Continue to use storm tornadoes to take out enemies in your path. Right before the end of the level is another section with the Hotarions. Take it slow and be careful not to fall into the bottomless pit before the fourth Maverick falls. Spark Mandrel has a bunch of attacks that hit pretty hard, including punching the ground to create electric spheres, punching you into the wall, or hanging from the ceiling to drop on you. And you can avoid all of that by using his weakness, Shotgun Ice, to freeze him in place until he dies. For beating him, you get Electric Spark, which flies forward and travels up and down walls when it comes into contact. Charge Electric Spark instead fires a huge wall of electricity in front of and behind you. That's all for this episode. See you in part 6, the gallery stage.